Chris Online TV. The world comes to you. Chapeni kazi, kafanyeni kazi. Kwa sababu nenye bariki mna expertise. Mna capital. Sisi we have the raw material. Dhahabu iliwekwa Tanzania. Haikuwekwa kwingine. Aliyeiweka Tanzania na makusudi nayo. Ambao ni Mwenyezi Mungu aliamua hii dhahabu iwe Tanzania. Kwa hiyo ikisombwa tu bila wa Tanzania hao kupata faida na hicho kinachosombwa hicho ndicho kinaumiza na hicho ndicho mimi kiliniumiza sana kwamba siwezi nikawa rais wa mali inasombwa wanawaambia ni mchanga mnagubali polisi wanasindikiza sasa kama mchanga kwa nini usiende tu kaenda hivi hivi mbona unakuwa protected so much lakini around that area watu wana njaa maskini hawana madawa hawana maji hawana elimu that was not fair na ndio maana ninawashukuru sana bariki na wenye share katika bariki kwa kutumia busara mzuri mungeweza mkasema tunatumia force lakini sina uhakika kama mungeichimba hiyo dhahabu. Sina uhakika. Lakini mmetumia busara, that's very good. Na mimi nataka kuhakikishia serikali yangu itatoa cooperation kubwa sana kwenu. Vyombo vya ulinzi vitahakikisha kufasilitate shughuli zenu. Ili mchimbe sarao sawa mupate faida na sisi tupate hiyo faida maisha yaende on a win win situations na ndio maana nimesema hata yale ma container tulioyashika sasa ufanye utaratibu mzuri yarudi kwenye kampuni ya Twiga mtafute wateja ninajua yalikuwa tayari ameshauzwa na mteja yupo pamoja na store kwamba zinapelekwa kwenye kwenye kuyeyushwa it was not true yalikuwa yanauzwa yakiwa bado huko na mnunuzi ninamjua <laughs> na alikuwa ameshali pa percentage fulani sasa kwa sasa hivi huyo mnunuzi kama anataka kuja kununua anunue kwa sababu tunajua faida itakayopatikana ni kwa ajili ya kampuni yote Twiga oi. Twiga safi. Twiga safi. Kwa hiyo <clears throat> wale ambao wakuamini sasa waanze kuamini. Kwamba engagement could be the best solution. Na hii imeonyeshwa na wenzetu wa bariki pamoja na serikali. Tuendelee ku cooperate kama kitu kimoja kwa ajili ya faida ya pande zote mbili na kwa picha iliyoonyeshwa na bwana Michael Bristol pamoja na wengine ni picha ya upendo umeeleza ukweli kwamba kaka yako ndiye alitumwa mwaka sabina nane kuja kulipiga hii si ndio kuja kupiga hii ikuru leo usingekuwa humu kwa sababu ingekuwa imeshaanguka zamani lakini ule uvumilivu wa kaka yako kuacha kuja kuipiga na inawezekana labda hata kaka yako angefia hapa hapa uwezo ukajua labda na yeye angepigwa kabla hajapiga <laughs> lakini ni ukweli kwamba the past is always history let us move forward na as i'm saying we have started a new page the page which is very clean and it's my hope that we will move in the best directions for the interest of the two parties 
nice is my assumptions kwamba over invoicing na mambo ya kuongezwa bei ili share iwe ndogo au iwe diluted kwa sababu ya cost ya vile kazi inayotumika havitakuwa vinapatikana kwa sababu it will be a true picture baada ya kusema haya ndugu zangu mlioshiriki kwenye mazungumzo Mungu atawalipa Mmeifanya kazi yenu wengine mmetoa machozi lakini na uhakika Mungu atawalipa Inawezekana historia yenu isijulikane sana kwa Watanzania lakini Mungu anajua Malipo yenu mtayapata kwa sababu mmetimiza lilio jema Ukifanya kitu chochote kwa nia njema Mungu atakufa nguvu zake Mimi nawapongeza sana 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 Tulitakiwa tutafute maloya na wanani tuwalipe hela ma consultant kwa ajili ya kunegotiate Tulisema sisi hapana kutafuta maloya tunatafuta watanzania wazalendo wazungumze na wenzao wazalendo wabariki na ndio maana we have reached this point ninawashukuru sana na wapongeza sana ndugu mike na wengine wote wabariki fikisheni shukrani zangu na watangazieni dunia kwamba Tanzania is the best place for investment kwamba Tanzania tunataka win win situation na kile ambacho walifikiri hakitawezekana kimewezekana hapa fanyeni kazi kwa moyo mmoja huko katika field mtakapokuwa mnafanya mjue kuna watanzania ambao wanahitaji kuona angalau faida ndogo ya madini haya waliopewa na Mungu inawarudia kakikisheni mnazingatia maswara ya environment ili hizi impurities no matter hii ni kampuni ya serikali trigger lakini swala la environment is very important hizi carcinogenic compounds and all these impurities they are not supposed to affect people lakini mzingatie pia mazingira ya wananchi walioko pale kwa kampuni yote hii ya trigger ukikuta kuna mahali wanahitaji maji angalau kisima cha maji si kibaya kupewa kwa watu loko people ambao wako pale hii ni beneficiaries ya wao pia kukaa kwenye maeneo hayo migogoro pia ya wachimbaji na nini mwe muisovu vizuri na serikali itakuwa pamoja na nini mimi nawashukuru sana ninamshukuru sana Mwenyezi Mungu hili limefanikiwa katika kipindi hiki na nafikiri huu sasa utakuwa ni mwanzo wa makampuni mengine ninajua mnaendelea na mazungumzo na kampuni ya Rumasi pamoja na Tanzanite na kina kadhalika sasa this is supposed to be the spirit kwamba sisi we are not here to fight with the other investors we need to cooperate with them on a win win situation bariki be assured this is the place to stay you will stay here today tomorrow forever because we think that we are supposed to move together as far development is concerned mongo ibariki trigger company mongo wabariki hawa wawekezaji wawili government of tanzania and the barrel company and the others mongo ibariki tanzania na mongo wabariki viongozi wetu wa dini ambao siku zote wamekuwa wakisimama kuliombea taifa hili na Mungu vibariki vyombo vyetu vya ulinzi na usalama ambapo siku nyingine hatuonagi kazi zao nzuri wanazozifanya lakini usiku kucha wamekuwa wakikesha kwa ajili ya usalama wa taifa hili ninawashukuru sana waheshimiwa viongozi na washukuru sana asanteni sana husband 
kupata habari mbalimbali zinazojiri kila kona ya dunia tafadhali subscribe like na ucomment breeze online tv